Greetings everyone and welcome to Tokyo. I'm glad you tuned in to the latest episode of Heads Unboxing. If you go shopping in Akihabara and if you are looking for some nice figures, there's one place you shouldn't miss out. It's the shop of Ami Ami. It is no secret you will find countless shops in Akihabara selling new or second-hand figures. But the shop of Ami Ami is a bit different. For the standards in Tokyo it's quite big and it's not as cluttered and overloaded as many of the small shops. You will find some high quality figures there. But if you take your time and have a very close look, you might find an offer you cannot refuse. At least this is what happened to me. This is the box I found. The figure is the beautiful Lynx from Queen's Blade. I got it at Ami Ami for just a handful of yen. Normally figures like this aren't that cheap. And when I was ready to pay for it, the seller told me it had some mistakes in coloring. But for me the colors looked fine. And I really wanted to buy a figure that wouldn't cost me a fortune. So I decided to go for it and give it a try. And now it's time to open up this pretty box and see what's hidden inside. I guess most of you know Queen's Blade only by the anime series. And that was also the way I first heard of it. But there's much more. Queen's Blade started in 2005 as a series of visual combat books, only followed by some light novels only two years later. And here we are now with the figure of the beautiful Nynx. Still inside the box and she already looks gorgeous. I really do love the long legs. And the hair is very well done too. And also the face. Nynx's weapon of choice is a blue magic staff. Which is actually a living being called Funikura. If you know Queen's Blade you might remember. Funikura can be very mean. This is the base. Very simple, nothing extraordinary. But I really can't remember what this green branch is supposed to be. I guess it's time for me to watch Queen's Blade again. Let's take a closer look. The figure is beautiful, no doubt about it. But she really seems to have some problems with the colors. There are some spots on the dress. It is also possible the color of the dress is totally wrong. When I did some research about this figure, I only found pictures of it with a fiery red dress. This one is quite different, like some kind of metallic copper. So maybe this figure is some kind of special edition, or the color of the dress is just wrong. I can't tell you for sure. But I'm not complaining. For the small price it's a very nice figure. I have to confess, I had a very hard time attaching these green branches. Because without any instructions I had no idea what to do. I looked at some pictures on the internet, but they didn't help much. In the end I just did what I thought was right. And I guess it doesn't look so bad after all. But what do you think? Feel free to leave me your thoughts about this figure in the comments for the video. I would really like to read from you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more of my unboxing videos. For me this is a nice figure. Not the best piece of my collection but a nice addition. And if you spend your day shopping in Akihabara, you will find much worse.